Welcome to Christ the King's Grade 8 Parent Information Session. My name is Linda Trantifilou, and I'm the principal of Christ the King, and we are delighted that you can join us for this presentation as we proudly highlight our school's programs, pathways, and opportunities available to students. Although we can't meet and be together in person in our beautiful school, we have a comprehensive program planned for you as you prepare to make important decisions for your child for next year. You'll hear from a number of staff members who will provide an in-depth overview of our variety of academic programs and course offerings, our student leadership and transition initiatives, our faith formation opportunities, as well as the breadth of co-curricular and athletic activities. As with every gathering, we'll begin tonight's presentation with a prayer. I would now like to call upon our chaplaincy leader, Mrs. Mary Lazowski, who will lead us in prayer and in the honoring of the land. Hello, Grade 8 parents. I'm Mary Lazowski, the chaplain at Christ the King, and tonight we begin with prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. God, we ask you to bless these parents. They are their children's first teacher and their constant support. Help them guide their children through the challenges of adolescence. Grant them wisdom and patience. May their children find their passions and develop their talents. May they be brave enough to take reasonable risks, humble enough to learn from mistakes, and courageous enough to stand firm in the knowledge of what is right and good, and so be a blessing to our world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. In a Catholic school, faith is woven into the fabric of everyday living. Faith and education are one whole piece of cloth. As chaplain, I am facilitator, cheerleader, and catalyst to that weaving together. Chaplaincy is about building community and shining the light of faith on what is happening in our world. We ask, if we believe in justice, peace, mercy, and love, how do we respond to situations in our school, community, and planet? Prayer is foundational in our school. Prayer at the beginning of the day, during the day, prayer services and masses to mark special times of the year, prayers to pull us together in difficult times. I'm speaking you to you from our chapel where many of those prayers are said. Students have many opportunities to become involved through chaplaincy. Typically that involvement begins in grade nine with a day a retreat for one day focused on community building. Chaplaincy is inclusive. We're aware of the diversity of religious traditions here. We recognize that we aren't all on the same place in our spiritual paths. We meet these differences with respect and inclusion. I'm part of the mental wellness support in the school. I work closely with our child youth counselor and with our social, care, social worker to offer care, support, and a listening ear. I'm available to students every day, and I welcome calls from parents as well. Please feel free to contact me at any time. Halton as we know it today is rich in the history and modern traditions of the many First Nations and the Métis. From the Anishinaabe to the Atawaran, the Haudenosaunee and the Métis, these lands surrounding the Great Lakes are steeped in Indigenous history. As we gather together on these treaty lands, we have the responsibility to honour and respect the four directions, land, water, plants, animals and ancestors that walk before us and all the wonderful elements of creation that exist. We would like to acknowledge and thank the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation for sharing their traditional territory with us. Thank you, Mrs. Lazowski. To give a little background about our school community, Christ the King was established 20 years ago, and during that time we fostered long-standing traditions of excellence in academics, athletics, the arts, and social justice programs. Our vice principals, Mr. Brian D'Souza and Ms. Melissa Jardina, together with our teachers and support staff are some of the most dynamic and dedicated educators in the Halton Catholic District School Board. As a Catholic school community, we are over 1,500 students strong. And our genuine hope for each of our students is that they grow to become responsible, thoughtful, and caring young men and women, ready to take on the challenges of the future with a sense of passion and vision. At Christ the King, we believe every single one of our students is unique. Each brings with them their own complement of gifts and talents. And it is this diversity that makes CTK one big family. 
working together to achieve, believe, and belong. Your children, who will soon become our students, are the reason we're here. Our identity as a Catholic high school is fundamental to everything we do at CTK. Catholic schools bring a distinctive faith component to learning and integrate the teachings of Jesus Christ into all aspects of school life. For students in Catholic schools, the school community serves as a support and foundation for understanding our faith traditions. The curriculum at Christ the King is distinctly Catholic. We teach the Ontario Ministry of Education curriculum with a difference grounded in the religion and family life education programs. Additionally, our focus on faith, grade level theological themes are woven through all courses in grades nine through 12. At Christ the King, we believe the Catholic school is an extension of the family and the church and embodies the values and teachings of Jesus. This is visible through our religious symbols, daily prayer, liturgies and relationships in a setting which upholds the dignity of each student. All staff share a common focus on faith and take pride in openly demonstrating and celebrating that faith through their teaching, their service to all students and to each other. We all strive to model the teachings of Christ in all we do. All staff members work in community with home, school, parish and community partners to engage in teaching and learning that is motivated by our shared mission, vision, values and goals. This is exemplified in the strength of our parent connections, our parish connections, particularly with Holy Cross here in town and St. Joseph's Parish in Acton, as well as through our community partnerships. During the four years that your children will spend with us, we will pick up where you left off, building on the values that you've worked so hard to instill within them. We'll guide them in understanding that their choices that they make now will eventually become their legacy here at Christ the King, but more importantly, serve as the springboard for their future. It is my firm hope that together as partners, we can encourage and give your children the tools to become the very best they can be. Together, we will help them grow into confident young men and women so that when they leave, they are ready to transform their world. But most importantly, know that at Christ the King, your children will be in good hands. We have an awesome program planned for you tonight, and it is my sincere hope that by the end of the evening, you too will feel part of the CTK family. If at any time beyond tonight, you have any questions about our academic programs or supports of any kind, please feel free to reach out to me or any one of our staff. Once again, welcome to Christ the King. Enjoy the rest of tonight's presentation, and we look forward to meeting you soon. And now I would like to introduce one of our guidance counselors, Mr. Mark DeChico, for the next portion of our program. Hello, and welcome to Grade 8 Parent Night. My name is Mark DeChico, a guidance counselor here at CTK, along with my colleagues, Melanie Fatar, Ivana Locke, and Christine Pavanetto, we will be explaining the basics of what goes on here at CTK, including student life, academics, special program offerings, special education, transitioning from grade eight to nine, and the various departments and what they offer at our school. Let's start with our first section on student life. When it comes to student life here at CTK, we offer a variety of options for your child to participate in. From our numerous sports teams, such as football, basketball, archery, hockey, and soccer, just to name a few, our school board divides sports into three seasons, fall, winter, and summer and your child can choose to participate in multiple sports per season. Here at CTK, we also offer various artistic endeavors for your child, concert and jazz bands, production plays, arts night. And we also have academic clubs, DECA, school reach teams, and the law mock trial teams. We offer a wide range of choices that'll basically satisfy your child's interests and build on their foundation of learning. We also promote numerous events at the school from our sports pep rallies, charitable fundraisers such as Pink Day for an example, and school dances, hopefully after COVID. There's a lot to do that we do here at CTK that promotes school spirit. So let's now hear from a number of students on their opinions about student life here at CTK. To talk about the basics of student life here at CTK, we have Nicola Boris and Nina Rateau sharing their opinions on what it means to be a JAG. 
Hi, my name is Nicola Boris. I'm a grade 10 student at Christ the King. Uh, here's a few things about me. Uh, in grade nine, I was DECA member. Uh, this year, I'm part of the junior varsity football team. Uh, you know, last year was challenging because of the difficult circumstances. And, um, you know, going into this year, it's been really fun. You know, being on the CTK football team, I made a lot of friendships. And, um, you know, going to school has been fun because of the, uh, you know, the teachers. They make it really fun. They're very inclusive. And, you know, um, they're easy to talk to. They're good people to go to for advice. Um, yeah, shout out to Mr. V, Mr. Chico, Mr. Weber, and uh, Mr. Palermo for being some of the many role models in the school. And yeah, go Jags. Hi, grade eights. My name's Nina, and I'm a grade 12 student at CTK. You might be nervous and excited for high school, but trust me, CTK is the place to be. My best tip for you guys is to join as many clubs and teams as you can. Not overwhelming yourself, just a healthy amount. When I was in grade nine, I joined the swim team, track team, student council and student senate. It's really one of the best decisions I ever made. I made so many friends and I got to help out in the school so much. It really made me feel like I was a part of the community. Here at CTK, the teachers are always willing to help you. They would never say no if you need help. And all the students are so welcoming. It might be scary seeing a grade 12 in the halls, but seriously, if ever you have a question, just ask them, they'll be happy to help. And I hope to see you next year. CTK offers a unique and innovative mentors program. Your child will fill out a form prior to entering CTK in grade 9. This form will be used to identify your child's interests in school activities and academics. From there, they will be paired with a mentor in grade 11 who has similar interests and is the same gender as your child, who they will be able to seek advice from in all matters related to the school. Each grade 11 mentor will have four to six students to support. More importantly, your child will have their locker right beside their mentors, and grade nines and 11s share the same lunch together. Lastly, we have two mentor-mentee days per semester to help strengthen the bond between the mentor and mentees. Our mentor program lead teachers are myself, Mark DeChico, and Adam Crow. If you have any questions pertaining to the mentors program, please feel free to contact myself at dechicom at hcdsb.org or Adam Crow at crowa at hcdsb.org. We look forward to hearing from you. Our school hours run from 8.25 in the morning to 2.30 in the afternoon. Our school timetable is separated into two semesters with four periods per semester. Your child will have four classes each day at 75 minutes of instruction per class or per period. In terms of time allotted for lunch, your child has 45 minutes. All grade nines share the same lunch. At the end of each semester, there will be time allotted for exams and culminating activities for each class. Uniforms are a mandatory component of school life. The uniform consists of a number of components. First, navy pants or shorts. Second, a golf shirt, white or green or rugby shirt. Third, a sweater or sweatshirt worn over top of a white shirt. And finally, fourth, shoes, which should be predominantly black in color. That means at least 90% of the shoe should be black. To get your uniform, you can order it through the school by going to the CTK website, click on the About tab, then click Uniform Policy, and finally, click on McCarthy's on the right side menu. If your child chooses a phys ed course in their schedule for grade nine, they can order the phys ed uniform directly through the school. Now, here's Melanie Fatar to discuss with you about our academics here at CTK. Thank you, Mark, for that introduction. My name is Melanie Fatar, and I am the Department Head of Student Services. I will now take a few minutes to discuss academics at Christ the King. The Ontario Secondary School Diploma consists of 30 credits in total. This is further broken down into 18 compulsory credits and 12 elective or optional credits. Students will also need to successfully complete the Ontario Secondary School Literacy Requirement as well as complete a minimum of 40 hours of community service in order to graduate with their OSSD. These are the six compulsory courses for Grade 9 as well as their levels. Please note that as of September 2021, Grade 9 Math has a de-streamed curriculum. In addition to math, students will need to complete one credit in English, Science, Geography, French, and Religion. 
You will be asked to select a level at which to take these compulsory courses, with the exception of math and religion. This can be challenging, and here is a breakdown of each of the levels. Academic courses offer a greater emphasis on theory. These courses focus on the application of knowledge to new and unique situations. As a result, they are typically fast paced with new concepts being presented daily. Applied courses offer an emphasis on practical applications. The course pacing is structured with new concepts every few days. Locally developed courses are for students with significant gaps in their knowledge in a subject area and who may have received modifications to the curriculum in the past. Students and parents will select this level in often in consultation with their child's teacher. The final course level option is open. These courses have one set of expectations for all students. Religion as well as all grade nine electives are offered at this level. This indicates that all elective courses in grade nine are appropriate for all students regardless of their current abilities. A few tips to help with selecting an appropriate level. Grade eight teachers will be recommending levels based on student achievement and work skills. You may also want to consider your child's current and past marks and learning skills in the subject, as well as their interests. Students will be able to change levels in grade 10 if needed. At Christ the King, these are the elective courses from which students are able to select two in grade nine. In the arts, students have the choice between instrumental music and expressing Indigenous cultures. In business, students can take the introductory information and communication technology course. Students may also wish to select traditional health and physical education. Food and nutrition is an option with the social science. As well, there are four different tech course offerings, construction, transportation, communication technology, and lastly, integrated technology, where students will be introduced to both hospitality and tourism as well as hairstyling and aesthetics. You will have the opportunity to hear more about all of these electives later on in the presentation. Now I will pass to Ivana Locke, who will be discussing some of the special programs we have here at CTK. Thanks for the introduction, Ms. Vitar. I have this evening the distinct pleasure of speaking with you regarding some of the exciting special programs here at CTK from our French programs to our AP program and our specialist high skills majors, there are many opportunities for your child to enrich their learning and to prepare them for post-secondary and beyond. Building on two programs many current grade eights are enrolled in, the extended French and French immersion programs are both offered here at CTK. Students in the extended French program must take two courses in their grade nine year. The extended French and the extended French geography must both be in their schedule. Students in French immersion must take three courses in their grade nine schedule. The immersion French, the immersion geography, and the immersion religion. Please ensure you select the appropriate course codes listed above when doing your course selections. One of the amazing opportunities here at CTK is the Advanced Placement Program. New to CTK last year, we are now in our second year and quickly growing. The AP Preparation Courses are a series of courses designed to help prepare students for university. They are rigorous and prepare students for the AP test in grade 12. They're intended to be challenging, but the benefits to students are well worth it. Why join the AP program? The benefits are countless. Most Ontario universities recognize the AP program and offer scholarships and the potential to earn two to three university credits through high AP testing in grade 12. Students in the program are going to cover topics and materials in great depth. They will have opportunities for enriched learning that go well beyond facts and figures. They will experience rich course material, thought-provoking classroom discussion, demanding assignments, and the development of critical thinking skills. Students who would like to be part of the AP program for grade nine must enroll in a minimum of two AP courses, but can register up to four. Next year, CTK will be offering English, 
geography, mathematics, and science at the AP level. Please consider your child's strengths and discuss whether this is a good fit with their current grade eight teacher. For those interested in applying to the AP program, there are a few important deadlines we'd like to note. December 1st is the pre-AP application deadline. The full application, along with a detailed presentation, can be found on CTK's website under a tab called the Advanced Placement Program. February 1st, we will begin emailing parents regarding the admission decision. This year, we will also have a secondary consideration deadline of February 11th. This is dependent on space in the programs. By March 1st, all pre-AP applicants will have heard from the school regarding a decision. For additional information, again, please select the advanced placement link found on CTK's website or reach out to student services. Are you interested in learning about a specific career path while gaining experiential learning in high school? The Specialist High Skills Major Program, often referred to as SHISM, is an opportunity for students to specialize, gain qualifications, and plan a career in a specific industry. Here at CTK, we have four SHISM programs, Arts and Culture, Construction, Hospitality and Tourism, and Information and Communication Technology. Students may enroll in these programs in grade 10. For more information, speak to your guidance counselor. And now to Naomi Coffey, Department Head of Special Education. Hi, I'm Naomi Coffey, the Department Head of Special Education here at Christ the King. If your child is joining us from one of the elementary schools in the Halton Catholic District School Board, please note that their IEPs transfer directly to us here at CTK, and I will be setting up virtual transition meetings with the elementary schools in February and March, where you will be invited to attend, and I'll be able to answer any questions that you might have for their transition to CTK. We'll also be setting up an opportunity for students to visit us virtually and take a tour of CTK and learn about the supports that we'll have to offer them. If your child is joining us from outside the Halton Catholic District School Board, please note that IEPs do not directly transfer to us. We must start the identification process with our board. In order to do that, when you register your child with CTK, please also provide a copy of their current IEP, the most recent psychological or psychoeducational assessment, and any other pertinent clinical or medical information that would help us determine the best programming and pathway for them. Once we've had a chance to review these documents, I will be reaching out to you in April to discuss next steps and answer any transition questions you might have. Good evening, my name is Christine Pavanetto and I'm one of the guidance counselors here at Christ the King. I have the pleasure of speaking to you today regarding the transition process from grade eight to grade nine and hopefully answering any questions that you may have. What's next? We had our virtual advancement placement parent information night last week. Thank you to all parents that attended. For those who missed the session, information is included in today's presentation. More information is also available on our CTK website. Thank you for those attending today as we are hosting our Parent Information Night. The presentation will be available on our CTK website if you'd like to review any information given today. From November 1st to the 5th, we are happy to announce that all guidance counselors will be making all associate grade 8 school visits to explain the course selection process. These schools include St. Joe's, Holy Cross, St. Francis, St. Catharines, and St. Bridget. Grade 8 teachers have booked their individual dates. On November 11th, we will have a virtual meeting with the St. Clair of Assisi Virtual School. From November 8th to the 30th, my blueprint will open for all Halton Catholic District School Board grade 8 students to complete their course selections. For non hcdsb students, please complete the online registration and course selection forms. All AP applications are due by December 1st, and all other course selections are also due by December 1st. By February 1st, all AP offers will be communicated home. It is also the final date to make any changes to course selections for the 2022-2023 school year. 
Level changes can still be made after this date subject to availability. The AP secondary consideration deadline is February 11th. If space allows, AP applications will be accepted. Final AP offers of admission will be communicated by March the 1st. Timetables for grade nine students will be available in late August. For those students applying from non Halton Catholic Ditchin School Board, the registration, course selections, and any additional information or forms applications are due December 1st. Make sure to complete the online registration at www.acdsb.org slash parent slash register your child. You will receive a confirmation email that your registration has been received. The email will also attach a course selection form and instructions regarding the activity fee payment. Please email the completed course selection form, confirmation of activity fee, and any other necessary applications or forms. Please email Melanie Hewson at hewsonm at hedsb.org, the Student Services Secretary, with any questions or inquiries. We offer many supports at Christ the King, from guidance counselors, administrators, which are your vice principals and principal, many teachers and support staff, and our chaplain. We also have a child and youth worker and a school social worker. We are all here to help. Now for the exciting part of the presentation. At Christ the King, we have so many great departments that we are happy to showcase. We're going to begin in alphabetical order with the arts programs. Enjoy. Welcome to the arts. At Christ the King, we offer a wide variety of artistic courses from instrumental, dance, guitar, drama, and visual arts. Dance at Christ the King is a vibrant community where students not only learn technique, but are given authentic learning experiences through creation and performance. Through the opportunity of learning a new skill, students are exercising their ability to collaborate, problem solve, persevere, and innovate. Besides exploring the dance forms themselves, students are encouraged to analyze, critique, and make connections to the skills learned in other subject areas. Here at CTK, we offer a wide range of dance courses from grade 10 to grade 12. Each grade builds on the skill learned the previous year, gradually increasing the level of difficulty as well as the complexity of the themes being explored. In addition to the various dance forms, there is a history and anatomy component linked to each course year. As a specialty course, grade 11 and 12 choreography is offered to students wanting to focus on their abilities to compose and experience the responsibilities of a working choreographer. All courses are available and tailored to students of all experience levels. As prescribed by the Ontario curriculum, each course studies the three strands seen here, providing a robust dance experience shared between the practical and academic topics and opportunities. Not only is dance a great option for earning an arts credit, but students will certainly have a unique learning experience while building relationships and community along the way. Christ the King Dance is a wonderful option for students to be physically active, creative, and make lasting memories during their time here. They say to learn music is to learn a whole new language. Well, we are here for you with the Christ the King Music Department. If you are an accomplished musician, or have never picked up an instrument before, we have the courses for you in our music department, starting from grade nine, instrumental music, all the way up to grade 12, repertoire, vocal music, guitar, and musical theater. There are many extracurricular opportunities that your kids can be involved in, from junior concert band, jazz band, pit band, drum line, choir, and part of the Christ the King musical. Are you a budding artist? Or even if you're not, taking visual arts at Christ the King may be the course for you. No prior knowledge or experience is necessary. Both the grade nine and 10 visual arts courses are open to every skill level. The visual arts course combines the culture of indigenous studies with learning basic techniques that every artist needs. The course builds on those skills that you have learned in grade nine and lets you explore with little different mediums that maybe you might not be familiar with. Develop specialized skills that could help you in a further career. You can create a self-directed independent portfolio of original work that you have done here in the school.
We have a fantastic drama program here at Christ the King that is a great way for you to get your arts credit required for graduation. Welcome to the theater. Students have the opportunity to break out of their shells and participate in a class that has no desks. Starting in grade 10, it's more self-exploratory where you can write and create your own plays. We have lots of activities that include things such as mime, tableau, monologues, and even if you're interested in film and TV work. Our grade 11 and 12 programs are university college level, which is perfect for the budding thespian. They can write, produce, and star in their own show and take a deeper look at the production side that includes using our theater, our soundboard, our lighting board, and costumes. Business at Christ the King offers students the opportunities to explore subject areas such as accounting, business leadership, career studies, economics, entrepreneurship, international business, marketing, and personal finance. BTT 110 is the grade nine introductory course to business. This course helps students develop their computer literacy skills in Microsoft applications such as PowerPoint, Word, Excel, and Publisher. Students will also have the opportunity to learn how to build their own web pages. There is no exam in the grade nine BTT 10 course and all work is completed in class on computers. The business program also offers the DECA Business Club for all grades, helping students develop their presentation and analytical skills. Hello, my name is Carolyn Montgomery and I'm the Department Head of Canadian and World Studies. We have a very exciting program at CTK where learning can take you around the world in geography, history, law and politics. Your child will start their journey in grade nine geography where they will be introduced to a variety of topics while making connections to people, places, and current events. The students will not just be learning geography, but applying the skills in areas inside and outside the classroom. We try to ensure that your child receives experiential learning, putting their skills and knowledge into action through field trips, not only in grade nine geography, but in all our courses. The skills learned in these courses through all grades are transferable to all future job areas. It is said that the top jobs to come will be in the field of geography as environmental issues become more and more important. In Canadian history, our students will be able to see how Canada's identity has grown over the past 120 years. Studying geography enables our students to develop a better understanding of the world in which we live, building knowledge and understanding of historical events and trends, especially over the past century and developing a much greater appreciation for current events today. In our classrooms, we pride ourselves on doing history, making it relevant to the lives of students. If you have further questions regarding any of our courses, please do not hesitate to send me an email. Our department of expert teachers are very excited to have your children in their classes next year. See you then. Hello and welcome to the English department at Christ the King. My name is Erin McKee and I'm the department head of English, Modern Languages and ESL. Here in the English department, we try to offer students a variety of courses in order to help prepare them for different pathways. But our overall goal is that they will be effective communicators in whichever uh, post-secondary destination they choose. So we focus on creating, imagining, analyzing, learning, and discovering, not just reading and writing. The four curriculum strands in English are oral communication, reading and literature studies, 
writing, and media studies. And the focus of each course is split fairly evenly between all four of those strands. We aim to give our students voice and choice. The English curriculum covers a broad range of skills, but we are not directed towards any specific texts. Instead, we like to offer students a choice of texts instead of studying whole class novels. This allows us to provide students with material that suits their interests and their abilities. It also allows us to evolve and adapt our courses of study to suit the needs of our classroom communities and reflect contemporary social issues. Students in English classes can begin in the academic, applied, or locally developed pathway. After grade nine, students who have taken academic or applied are still able to switch pathways between those two when they choose their grade 10 courses. Students in grade 10 academic will take 11 university and 12 university in order to prepare for post-secondary studies at the university level. Students taking grade 10 applied will go to the college pathway and students taking locally developed will go to the workplace pathway. We also offer some optional elective courses. Those include NBE 3U Native Voices, where students would study primarily uh, Indigenous texts rather than the traditional grade 11 English texts. The OLC, which is for grade 12 students who need extra remediation with their literacy skills. And then in grade 12, we also offer writer's craft at the college and university levels, as well as a grade 12 elective studies in literature where we focus on classic literature. Students in the locally developed and workplace pathway learn essential skills for real life, so basic reading and writing skills. The assignments focus a lot on comprehension and interpreting information through daily tasks, and there's lots of individual attention with small class sizes and teacher direction. Students in the applied and college pathway will have a practical application of skills and strategies. The assignments focus on real life tasks such as news reports, opinion pieces and presentations. And there's more monitored learning, class time for assignments, not as much homework. Students in the academic and university pathways will have more concept and theory based learning, focusing on more abstract thinking. The assignments will focus on analytical thinking, through essays, seminars, and critiques. And there is a transition towards more independent learning with a lot of the tasks and assignments completed at home. If you have any questions about the English program at Christ the King, please don't hesitate to reach out. I can be reached at mckeee, -E, don't forget that third E, at hcdsb.org. Within our Moderns department at Christ the King, we primarily offer studies in French. In this department, we offer courses in both the core and extended French pathways, as well as our new French immersion program that has just begun for grade nines, that will help students develop their skills to interact and communicate in French and to become lifelong language learners. In French class, students will increase their independence, apply critical and creative thinking skills, and enhance their understanding and appreciation of diverse French-speaking communities. The curriculum strands for FSL, French as a Second Language, include listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Included within each of these strands is a focus on intercultural awareness, where students learn to appreciate French as a language and a culture throughout the world. Students who take core applied French will focus on practical skills and strategies. The assignments focus on real life tasks like blogging, visual stories, interviews and presentations, and there is more monitored learning, much like the applied English. Students who have a strong background in grade eight core French might wish to take the core academic in grade nine. This too will involve a practical application of skills and strategies. And the assignments focus on practical tasks and interactive situations, which develops into more analytical thinking in the older grades. 
These students will also have the option to write the DELF exam in grade 12, which is a certification from the French Ministry for National Education. Students coming from extended French in elementary school can take extended French in grade nine, where they will focus on practical and theory-based critical thinking. Their assignments focus on real life tasks for communication, as well as analytical thinking through novel studies. These students should have a strong sense of responsibility, organization, and independent learning skills in order to succeed in extended French. And these students also have the opportunity to write the DELF exam in grade 12. If you have any questions, you can reach out to Mr. Crow, who is a French teacher here at our school, or once again to me as the Department Head of English, English Language Learning and Modern Languages. Hey Jags, I'm Nick Evangelo, one of the heads for CDK's new SEAL team. We have a lot of big goals planned for this year and for years to come. But right now, we're just going to give you some info about the community. At CTK, we have over 35 different sports teams that compete in HCAA each year with over 500 student participants. We have many opportunities for both junior and senior students, and we take great pride in our athletics with a history of OFSA appearances and GHAC wins. For our health and physical education courses, we offer grade 9 and 10 male and female traditional classes. Once in grade 10, popular choices are always hockey and basketball gyms. Once in grade 11 and 12, you have a variety of options. Sports specific classes, weight training, fun fit, and traditional classes. We pride ourselves on the new vision of the health and physical education course that honors inclusivity and diversity while building on strength, goals, and dreams of every student. We all strongly believe that physical education is a huge part of young adults' lives. A quote from World Conference of Ministers for Sports is, Physical education is the most effective means of providing all youth with the skills, attitude, values, knowledge, and understanding for lifelong participation in society. Thank you for listening to why we love our physical education community so much here at CTK. Lots of exciting things to come this year. Check out our social media accounts to stay updated at CTK Jaguars and CTK Athletics. Hi everyone, my name is Hannah McCallum and I'm the Mathematics Department Head at Christ the King. Over the next few slides, I'm going to be taking you through what our Grade 9 programs look like, as well as what the pathways are for mathematics in the Ontario curriculum. In Grade 9, we offer three different courses for your child. The first is MTH1W, or Mathematics for Work and Home. This replaced the former academic and applied pathways, and students who wish to pursue this course should be comfortable plotting points, working with integers and fractions, and using basic algebra. We also offer locally developed math for students working below grade level, as well as the pre-AP program for students who are looking for enrichment. With the pre-AP program, there was a video posted last week with more information, and with any of these courses, we ask that you listen to your grade eight teacher's recommendations as they know your child best. Based on the current Ontario curriculum, after grade nine, students pursuing MTH1W will be able to choose between the academic, applied, and pre-AP pathways. On the right, you can see the pathways chart and the transition from grade nine math up to grade 12. I would like to point out that there is the opportunity to transition between applied to academic or university through the grade 11 functions and applications mixed math course. Like the transition from grade 8 to grade 9, we ask that you listen to the recommendation from your child's teacher as they know your child best. So Here we have some current grade 9 students who wanted to share some words of wisdom they had in transitioning from grade 8 to grade 9 math. 
So in grade nine, you've got to make sure to show your steps. You can no longer just do your equations in your head. You have to show your steps and make sure you know it. I think a good thing to do in grade nine is to keep some of your assignments and tests from grade eight, because a lot of the things we learned this year, we also learned last year. Uh, I would suggest keeping on top of homework and stuff, because to high school, there's a lot of homework you have to finish. Uh, you should just pay attention to class. There's a lot of work, all the specific problems that the teacher specifically does in class, and if you pay attention, that might help, that might help you on a test and get some extra marks. Hello there, my name is Andrew Bork, and it's my distinct pleasure to speak to you about the Religion, Social Sciences, and Humanities curriculum here at Christ the King. I've been the Department Head of Religion at Christ the King for the past eight years, and I'm looking forward to speaking to you about our unique curriculum at Christ the King. Religious education is an evolving discipline that enables young people to learn the knowledge, attitudes, and skills necessary to meet the challenges of the 21st century. These courses invite students to build their relationship with the person of Jesus Christ, as witnessed to by the Catholic faith, which recognizes the centrality of God, the dignity of the human person, and the importance of ethical norms. This witness takes many forms, but essential to its self-understanding is the place of sacred scripture, church teachings, the sacramental and liturgical life of the church, and its moral foundations for Christian living and family life education. People of all faiths are welcomed in Ontario's Catholic secondary schools. As such, we strive to deliver our religious education program in an inclusive manner that respects and celebrates the multi-faith character of Canada. CTK students are expected to take one religious education course in each of their four years of secondary school. In grades nine and 10, religious education is offered at the open level for all students. In grades 11 and 12, students have the option of selecting open or mixed level courses. Religious education courses can be used for college and university application. We believe that the religious education courses at CTK offer students a unique opportunity for development in faith, morals, and community service. They also allow students to learn about the other religious traditions that make up Canada's rich multicultural and multi-religious mosaic. CTK has one of the largest social sciences and family studies programs in the Halton Catholic District School Board. Students have the opportunity to study anthropology, psychology, sociology, and philosophy. Students also have the opportunity to explore food and nutrition and family studies courses like early childhood development and fashion. These courses are offered at the open college and university levels. And these courses allow students to explore the dignity of the human person and the importance of family and community through the disciplines of the social sciences and family studies. Good evening. Welcome to the CTK Science Department. My name is Linda Van Ostein and I am the Science Department Head. Science is a way of knowing that seeks to describe and explain the natural and physical world. The goals of the CTK Science Program are to relate science to technology, society and the environment to develop the skills, strategies, and habits of mind required for scientific inquiry, and to understand the basic concepts of science. The key differences between our science courses, the locally developed pathway SNC-1L, this is for students with significant gaps in their knowledge of science and who may have had modifications to the grade eight curriculum. It focuses on providing students with flexibility and support in meeting compulsory credit requirements. Students require, may require a significant uh, amount of teacher assistance and these students will benefit from smaller class sizes. Our applied course, SNC1P, this is for students who benefit from more directed activities in teaching. It focuses on essential skills by emphasizing practical, concrete applications and relating to familiar real life situations. The tasks are more defined. Uh, it also incorporates theoretical applications as appropriate and these students will be able to complete tasks in directed environment. Our academic pathway, SNC1D, is for self-motivated independent learners who have developed a strong foundational knowledge and skills of science, focuses on the essential concepts of the discipline, and explores related concepts with an emphasis on theoretical and abstract application. Independent activities will build on essential skills, 
Uh, students are expected to be able to readily understand mathematical concepts, and also students will recognize the need for daily homework and review. Good time, time management skills are important. The Advanced Placement SNC-1DA uh, for highly motivated independent learners that have a keen interest and desire to pursue the sciences at the post-secondary level. This is a foundation for students wanting to continue on to take senior AP science courses to prepare them for the AP exams written in grade 12. The student in this program re uh, readily understands scientific and mathematical concepts and this pathway will also have extension activities delivered at a faster pace with greater student initiation and independent work expectations. Here's a list of the current CTK science courses. You'll see in grade nine and 10, we offer the all four pathways in the general sciences. And at that level, the uh, students will be doing usually a unit in biology, chemistry, physics, and earth and space science. When you get to grade 11, uh, those different disciplines are independent courses. And you can see in grade 11, we've got the environmental sciences course at both 3E and 3M level, as well as biology, chemistry, and physics independent courses. And those will uh, also be seen in the grade 12 year. Here are some students that are currently doing some lab activities. In the middle of the screen, they are dissecting an owl pellet. And on the far left and far right, these are some students in grade 11 biology dealing with looking at how enzymes work from potatoes. Thanks for stopping by this evening, and we hope to see you in September. See you soon. Bye-bye. Hi there. My name is Kevin De Silva, and I am the head of the Technological Education Department here at Christ the King. I'm excited that you were able to join us for our grade eight night presentation, and I'm hopeful to see many of your sons and daughters sitting in our tech classes in the upcoming years. Tech Ed is all about hands-on experiential learning. Our teachers use industry standard software, hardware, and techniques in all of the tech courses that we offer to teach your sons and daughters specific skills. These skills marry quite well with the skills that they may be able to use in the workforce. I feel like I could talk for hours of breaking down all of the courses and awesome activities that your sons and daughters could experience in our courses, but I think you'd rather watch a video instead. Take a look at this.
As you would have seen from that awesome video, the possibilities are endless. This slide and the next slide describe all of the courses that you would have seen in the video with a little bit of a description as well as the grades that these specific courses are offered in. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to me. Again, my name is Kevin Da Silva, and my email address is up there on the screen as dasilvak 2 at hcdsb.org. I'd love to hear from you and answer any questions you might have. And remember, technology is the place to be. We hope you have enjoyed our presentation. If you would like to keep in contact with us, we have a number of social media accounts you can access. First, please type in the Linktree address to have access to all the links you will need for your child's transition to grade nine. In this link tree, there is our CTK parent website where you can access more information on how to register your child for the upcoming 2022-2023 school year. We will also be posting this presentation as a link for you to access, as well as the option form you will need to fill out with your child. We have our CTK Twitter and CTK Guidance Twitter and Instagram accounts you can follow with access to the daily events that go on in the school. Lastly, we have our school website for any other inquiries you may have. Thank you for listening.